In this presentation we look at how to subset a data frame by specified indices or row numbers or column numbers. Now that means we actually get to specify which number of rows we want to use. Like, Do we want to use the first row, second row or so on. Let, first off let's look at how we would uh, extract an entry, a very specific entry from a data set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the top six items of the top six observations of the data set iris. Now that this he uh, this function head is, is a very special function and it returns the first six rows. Suppose I want to actually look at the item in the third row on the second column. How would I do do that? Well like everything there is a sort of coordinate system with R. So what we would do is first off specify the row and then the column number. And we should get 3.0 or 3.2. Sorry, there it is, that one there. Okay, and uh, let's try another one. Uh, the one I meant, I thought I was going to get, there we are, 3.0. Okay, what we could do now is see what would happen if we left one of these uh, blank. So we're just going to say iris2 which is the row number, and we're going to leave the column value empty. What happens is we get the entire row, the, the entire second row, all columns. So when you leave this empty, essentially what you get is all columns. Now let's try it out for the opposite way around. What happens if we get, don't specify the row, but specify the second column. Well, what happens here is that this is actually all the sepal width values here. I'm just going to scroll back up here. It's all of these values here. Okay, so that's what happens when we specify the row or column. Now, what we can do is, suppose we want to specify more than one row or more than one column. Well, we could generate a sequence of values. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to generate a sequence here. This is 1 to 5 and that returns every integer value between 1 and 5 inclusive. Likewise 6 to 10 every value between 6 and 10. Okay so I'm going to clear the screen now. Iris uh, 1 to 2 1 to 4 let's say and we're going to leave that empty there. What happens now when we do this? Well what happens is we actually get the first four rows Brilliant. And let's do it for the other one. One to three, let's say. In this case, what will happen is we get the first three columns. All of them, the whole way through. Now, just as a remark, this is isn't class as a column. This column here at the side, this is just the observation number. So it's actually set, uh, sepal length, sepal width, and petal length are the columns we're talking about here. Okay, so... Suppose I want the first 25 values of iris and the just the first two columns. That's how we go about doing it there. The first 25 rows and then just the first two columns. Okay, so that's what we have there. 25 rows and two columns of information. Of, of values. And suppose we want to save that, I'm going to save that as iris redux, reduced even, that's how we would do, do it there. Uh, 1 to 25 and 1 to 2. By the way, just as a remark, that dot doesn't mean anything. Okay, that's the end of the presentation.